All right, just want to quickly document here. This is the uh, Schwinn Collegiate that we are uh, going to be mounting the engine to. I just wanted to show you the magic of polishing chrome with tin foil and water. And that's my dog barking. So uh, I already did this back one. You know, you can see it looks pretty good. You know, obviously there was some damage here, but otherwise looking pretty dang good. And I started to do the rims because they were really bad. If you look over here, look how bad these rims are. They're pretty dirty. Shut up, Ginger. All right, so I did this part of the thing, and now I'm going to work on this part. Let's see if you can see the pit marks of the rust. So check this out. We are going to grab the aluminum foil, wad it up into a loose ball, dunk it in water, and loosely rub it against the chrome, starting loosely, and then as the uh, as it begins to come off, we're going to get harder and harder in our pressure, and the ball is going to become more and more compacted and crushed into a ball as this goes. So starting off, we're doing sort of soft, wide strokes, and... And then we're kind of pushing a little bit harder and quicker to get those deeper marks. All right, just to show how well this magical formula works, I'm just going to stop right here and wipe it off. And look at that. Look at that. Pretty good, right? I mean, amazing, like magical, and, and I've scoured the net. No one seems to know why this works. Nobody. Look at that. That's now very nice and shiny. This is what it just looked like. I'll do it again just to show you with the same piece here. See how dirty this is? That's my dingo. Yep, there you go. See the shine coming through. Next up, we'll do the rims.